We're joined by Nahad Avad, CARES Executive Director. Nahad, good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. First, your report shows that bias incidents have increased in response to the October 7th Hamas attack. Do you think this latest round of escalation we saw with Iran last night could lead to more? Absolutely. Whenever there is any tension, any conflicts, um, and the way uh, our media, our politicians handle uh, the, the issues, it reflects on all of us, uh, citizens of this country, residents, because we are all impacted by the behavior of people around us based on the news, on the views, and, and definitely uh, what we have seen in, in our report, we recorded 8,001 uh, cases, which is uh, the largest in our 30 years of recording uh, incidents uh, against Muslims. There is so much covered in this report, from incidents of censorship to physical attacks. What were some of the most significant findings? The most significant findings is that almost, as you said, nearly half of these uh, reports, 8,000 uh, reports, uh, were received between October and end of December. Uh, the significant portion is really the hate crimes, where deadly attacks, uh, bodily harm, uh, you know, against uh, individuals who, uh, um, you know, uh, describe themselves as Muslims or are affiliated with the Muslim faith, or even the Palestinian uh, uh, culture. Uh, for example, as, as we all have seen uh, all over the news, the stabbing to death uh, Wadi'a al-Fayyumi, the six-year-old uh, boy, Amer American-Palestinian in the suburb of Chicago by the landlord of his family, uh, and also the stabbing 12 times of his mother by the same individual. Uh, these are some very graphic uh, you know, tragedies that uh, is a result of the negative atmosphere that we are living. And also the shooting of three college students in, in Vermont. And, and, you know, I can just sit here and give you so many, so many stories behind the 8,000 cases. There are, there are lives. We, uh, just, you know. we, we just showed a picture of Wadia. That's a six-year-old child that you showed that was stabbed to death while his landlord shouted, you Arabs must die as he's attacking this mother and six-year-old. Why was it so important to see him and understand his story? Because I understand Wadia is on the cover of your study. Because it shows how, 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 how innocent lives uh, get imp impacted and sometimes are lost in, in this fora of anti-Muslim hysteria and the dehumanization of the Palestinians. I mean, Wadi'a Fayyumi, we believe, is the victim of the dehumanization of the Palestinians and, and, and American Muslims. Uh, you know, what does he have to do with, with, with the conflict? What, he have, what does he have to do with, with what's taken place, uh, except his connection to the Palestinian culture and Palestinian, uh, you know, families and, and, and his family? So this is like the blind hate that leads to, uh, you know, physical attacks. And, and sometimes, you know, as we have seen in this case, is, is the ultimate death of people who have nothing to do, have done uh, no harm to anybody. Now, during the announcement of the study, you are actually urging protesters to interrupt President Biden events. Why do you think that's going to be an effective strategy? And do you think it'll change American policy? I believe it does. Actually, the tide is turning. Uh, uh, millions of Americans started to see that our policy towards the state of Israel, uh, you know, imposing apartheid and siege on the Palestinian people for 75 years, denying their humanity and their existence and their human rights and their God-given rights to be who, who they are in their own land, it, back, it backfires. And today, young people around the world and, you know, anyone, they see to it that, you know, Israel is committing a genocide. The International Court of Justice urged Israel to provide uh, uh, protection for the Palestinians, provide aid, Israel is imposing a famine. Mm -hmm. And all of these actions are, are caused, supplied, armed, and, execute, and, and excused by our own administration. It really flies in the face of our claims as a nation and this administration's claims to center human rights. So in other words, the human dimension of the Palestinian people and their suffering under the Israeli occupation is coming to being, and we have to reflect that. We're not asking people, you know, to to uh, uh, just to be anti-Israel. We're sure. asking to be. We're asking people to be just and fair, 
and respect democracy and dignity that belongs to all people, including the Israeli people. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.